a ship is moving against the river flow at a speed of 25 kilometers per hour flow of the river is 5 kilometers per hour the ship moves for 4 hours against the flow the air flow becomes favorable and add to net velocity by 2 kilometers per hour ship flows for 1 hour with favorable flow and finally reaches the shore what is the average speed so basically you have to find out the average speed of the ship you very well know that average speed is not the average of speeds right average speed is total distance by total time average speed is nothing but total distance by total time so all we have to do here is find out the total distance traveled by the ship and the total time taken to cover the distance now read the point he says the ship is moving against the river flow at a speed of 25 kilometers per hour so this is the speed of the ship right the speed of the ship is 25 kilometers per hour the speed of the river is 5 kilometers per hour the flow of the river right the river's flow is at 5 kilometers per hour now the ship moves for 4 hours against the flow see against the flow is upstream right so what will be the upstream speed speed of the ship minus speed of the river so 25 minus 5 which is equal to 20 so the upstream speed is going to be 20 kilometers per hour and the ship moves at this speed 20 kilometers per hour for how many hours for how many hours 4 hours for 4 hours so what's the distance covered 20 into 4 80 kilometers right next the air flow becomes favorable understand he's not talking about the river flow now the air flow becomes favorable so air is favoring the ship and it adds to the net velocity by 2 kilometers per hour see what's the net velocity the net velocity is 20 kilometers per hour net velocity is nothing but the upstream speed right this is nothing but the net velocity right the net velocity or upstream speed is 20 kilometers per hour but the air flow is now favoring the ship and it adds to its speed by 2 kilometers per hour Right? So, what is the new net velocity? What is the new net velocity? It will be 25, which is the speed of the ship, minus 5, which is the speed of the river, plus 2. It is increasing the net velocity by 2. So, it becomes 22 kilometers per hour. And the ship flows for 1 hour with favorable flow. It's favoring, right? It moves for 1 hour at this speed. Right? For how many hours? For 1 hour. Right? It moves for 1 hour. 22 kilometers per hour for 1 hour. So how much distance will it cover? 22 kilometers. And it reaches the destination, finally reaches the shore. What is the average speed? Average speed is total distance. Total distance is 80 plus 22, 102. Divide by total time. What is total time? 4 hours plus 1 hour, 5 hours. 102 by 5. 102 by 5 is 20.4. So your answer should be 20.4 kilometers per hour. Option B. Very simple. In fact, you should be able to solve this question mentally. There is nothing to be put on paper, right? I mean, if you observe, most of the steps that I've written here are, you know, can be avoided, can be avoided in the exam, right? I mean, this is speed of the ship, speed of the river, which is already given. Upstream, upstream speed, do you have to do paperwork for that? No. 20 kilometers per hour. For 4 hours means obviously 80 kilometers. All this can be understood mentally. 80 kilometers in 4 hours. New net velocity, you know that the upstream speed is 20. To that, you have to add 2. It becomes 22 kilometers per hour. For how many hours? Only for one hour. 22 kilometers. All you have to do is this calculation. Total distance is 80 plus 22, 102. Total time is 4 plus 1, 5. 102 by 5. 102 by 5 is 20.4.